Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing some affordable and easy reach body mist and fragrances in my collection. I thought it would be a great recommendation video for you guys that are currently working on building your fragrance collection. With that being said guys, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Annie. On this channel, we talk mostly about fragrances. If that is your thing, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my community. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your love and support. I appreciate you being here and I look forward to growing with you. So guys, let's just jump forward and start talking about the body me. The first fragrance we're going to talk about is Vitera Secrets First Love. This is a beautiful white flora fragrance. It has musky. It's ozonic it's also green and has some fresh component to it and i also find it to be a bit powdery and aquatic this is a beautiful feminine fragrance i'm not gonna lie even though it's a body mist it has great projection great longevity as well as sillage i love this for work it's one of my go-to for bedtime great for work environment it's non-offensive as i mentioned it's very feminine very girly i really enjoy wearing this for, um, fragrance one of the things i love about this fragrance is that it does has a very rich sophisticated component to it even though it's a cheapie from victoria's secret I, I believe it was like under $18. I bought it on sale. It was like four other fragrances that I bought. It's like buy one, get one 50% off. I can't remember, but this was from last year when I bought it. And look at the dent that I've made. I just love how feminine this fragrance makes me feel. It reminds me of, I keep saying fragrance, but this is a body mist, guys. I apologize. Um, this reminds me of um, Chance by Chanel Eau de Tendre. This is a beautiful fragrance. I have Chance in my collection. Another thing that I do is, even though I have the big bottle here, I do have a small one that I put in my purse. Every time I like a fragrance or a body mist, I tend to get a smaller version of it to carry with me when I, when I go out on dates or I go to an event or something like that to top off my fragrance. So what I do with my Chanel Chance is I would spray that as my main fragrance and then I will use this, the small size. I don't have it with me, it's in my bag downstairs. I will use that to top off my body when I go to an event and I just wanted to freshen up. Like, you know, after like a couple hours, the center dies. This, I, I believe I mentioned that it has great projection. It does last eight plus hours, but after a while, my nose doesn't smell it anymore. So I do like to freshen up. So I will put um, more of this on my body, but it smells amazing. I know you can't see, but I'm sniffing the cap here. It's a beautiful feminine fragrance. One of my girlfriends wear this as a signature scent. She smells amazing, okay? Every time you hug her, she doesn't wear anything else but this. Every time you hug her, when I smell this, it reminds me of her a bit. It's just a beautiful, beautiful feminine fragrance. A great cheapie. If you're looking for affordable, reach, easy fragrances and you can't afford like $40 or whatever for fragrance, this would be a great one. Just wait when, when Victoria's Secret is having their sale, like with the holiday season are coming up. So when they start having sale, I would recommend you stock up on this. I unfortunately only grab one of this and I have the small, but again, I have a huge perfume collection so and i've put a six this is a huge dent compared to some of my other fragrances in my collection and i don't think i'm going to be running out of this anytime soon um so yeah again this is victoria's secret first love i highly recommend it if you're looking for a feminine everyday easy reach body mist to put on that has great sillage great longevity and great projection up next we have amber romance another victoria's secret body mist this is a beautiful, sweet vanilla. It has some cherry notes to it. It's woody. It has some powdery notes as well. And it's also latarnic and it's very uh, musky. Not musky, I'm sorry, nutty as well. This is just a beautiful deep amber sugar kiss chasing <laughs> sunset. Um, their description is so funny. I have three of these guys. I love this so much. I buy it. I mean, everyone loves amber. I give them away to friends. And look at the dent. It's a great bedtime scent as well. It's an easy reach when you want to like go out of your house, but you don't want to think too much. Like this is stuff that I got before I actually grew my perfume collection, but I don't regret it at all. I love this fragrance. It's just amazing. It has some cherry notes to it. It also has custard in the middle note, and then the dry down you have vanilla and, and sandalwood and the dry down. This is a, just a beautiful everyday 
I love wearing this. I never get tired of it. I only wear it in the fall and winter time because it's kind of warm, it's cozy, custard to me. It's just something that I used to eat when I was a kid. Vanilla is like a year round um, fragrance. Sandalwood is very relaxing as well, so that's why I wear it a lot from bedtime. But I also love wearing it at work. Again, fall and winter, it's a great scent. Um, projection isn't bad. Longevity is also not bad. And the CH is also not bad at all. I would say they are moderate um, to my nose. I don't pick up the cherry at all, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. But this would be a, a strong second. Um, I have three of this only because I loved this so much at the time when I bought it. But I may not rebuy this, but I would definitely rebuy First Love um, by Victoria's Secret. So again, this is Amber Romance. It's not a bad scent. I like it. For those of you who've tried it, leave me a comment below and let's talk about it and see what else uh, you like from the Victoria's Secret's um, Body Mist collection. This was Love as First Sniff. I fell in love with this fragrance when I went to... Victoria's Secret, I was looking for something, I couldn't find it, I was just shopping one day and I was looking for a fragrance and I'm like, what can I get that I like, what can I get that I don't, couldn't find it, so I found this instead and I fell in love with this, okay, Bath & Body Works, fairy tale. the fragrance itself, it's amazing, this is the body mist, I've seen people on TikTok say you should layer this with your Leap Intense, I haven't tried it out yet, I might, but for right now, I do love this scent. I just think the scent profile, it's amazing. One of the things I love about this is the notes. I know you can't see this because there's no way to tell, but the dent, I don't know if you can see, like there's a significant dent to this one. I wore the heck out of it when I first got it. This has the notes on the back. I didn't look this up on Fragrantica, but the notes on the back, it has pomegranate nectar, it's fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber so another amber fragrance i seem to like a lot of amber into my fragrances but this is amazing guys it's a beautiful scent again great for work appropriate for everyday affordable rich it has um when I, when I bought this the girlies were saying that it does has long projection and longevity and i do agree um projection siage all of that is about six hours on my skin so it's a great one to pick up and i think there's other one called like into the stars or into the night other bath and body with fragrances that has great um caught following but this is the only one that I really liked. I do have other Bath & Body Works one that I could talk about in another video, but I do adore this fragrance and I'm happy to have it in my collection. It's one of those easy reach that I put on when I just want to feel chill and feminine and I don't want to try too hard and I would wear them. So I wanted to recommend this for you guys if you were interested in picking them up. I would say at least go and sniff it at Bath & Body Works and see if you like it for yourself. But it's a great fragrance, 10 out of 10. Um, body mist, I keep saying fragrance. It's a great body mist and you know if you're interested go to bath and body works and smell it again this is fairy tale they do have a fragrance they do have a body lotion and then this is the body mist that you can get all three to amplify the scent next i have bright temptation by zara this is another beautiful baccarat rouge duped i love the scent profile of this fragrance as you can see the dent i have wore the heck out of this fragrance i wore this more than i wore my Atra Baccarat Rouge, and if you've seen my videos, you probably say this girl talks about her fragrances, but she doesn't wear them. I actually do. But this is a beautiful, sophisticated, stunning, everyday fragrance. It's cozy. It's warm. It has amber notes to it. It's powdery. Um, it's warm and spicy, and it's also animalic to my nose, but it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Once I'm done with it, guys, I will not be rebuying it because I do have the real Baccarat Rouge and I have a backup of Baccarat Rouge as well in my collection and I would like to use those up. So before I bought the actual Baccarat Rouge, I bought this because everybody was raving about, don't worry about Baccarat Rouge, don't buy that, buy this if you want the DNA for the fraction of the price. This was $25.50, I believe. I don't know if I got it on sale, but that is the retail price for this. Um, it's a beautiful scent, guys. I know I mentioned that earlier. So some of the notes here. So the top notes, you have saffron, bitter orange, and corinda. The middle notes, you have perlin and jasmine. And then the base notes, you have musk, amber, and moth. This is, a again, an amazing, like, I love this scent, guys. It's a beautiful scent profile. It does have that baccarat DNA. Um, I do have the real baccarat rouge, but I would recommend this for anyone who doesn't have the baccarat rouge price tag but wants to have that same DNA in the collection to pick this up.
if you wait when Zara has a sale, you might get this for cheaper, or if you find it at a store for cheaper price, I would say pick it up. When I was looking to get this fragrance, it was sold out online. I actually had to keep checking and checking, and I think it was like a couple of weeks later, it came back on stock before I purchased it. So again, an easy reach fragrance. It's great for work, sweet, it is earthy, it has that amber DNA, it's warm and spicy. I don't pick up too much powdery or animalic notes. I just get mainly the sweetness of it and the powdery and the warm and spicy. Um, those are the most prominent notes to my nose. And I love the fragrance and I would totally recommend it for you guys to check out. This is definitely, um, this is Red Temptation by Zara. Up next, I have Rose Grow Mount by Zara. This is another beautiful, rosy, vanillic, powdery, amber, floral fragrance. This is said to be a dupe for Maison Francis Cote de Jean um, Gentle Fluidity Gold. You can see the dent right here. I love this fragrance. It's an easy, everyday rich. If you're somebody who likes rosy, amber, powdery, and floral fragrances, like if you like that kind of a DNA scent profile, you are gonna love this. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's not like the Red Temptation type of sweet. The sweet here is very, um, I would say it's sophisticated. It's kind of mild. It doesn't have a huge projection. It doesn't have huge sillage or longevity. However, if you, like I spray, I mean heavy spray eyes. <laughs> I was just about to say that again, right? I overspray, but I think that if you are somebody that does like one to five sprays, it will create a really nice scent bubble when people come close to you or when you walk past someone, it, they will turn heads. This fragrance is beautiful enough where somebody would like, wow, she smells good or, you know, he smells good. I believe this, like, this is for, gir for girls. Um, let's look at the notes real quick. The top note is rose, the middle note is amber, and then the dry down is vanilla. But I believe the vanilla here is very toned down because it's not sweet at all. The, the rose note is very prominent to my nose. But again, this is a stunning fragrance for a fraction of the price, $25.90. It's a great everyday reach. Look at the dent. Again, I have other, uh, I have Men's Francisco to John. Men's of Louis to Gold in my collection. So this was just a great addition. And I bought this before I actually got the real fragrance. But I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I wear it for work. It's a great work, um, everyday wear, great for work, great for the doctor's appointment, dentist. Like anytime you're going to be around people, I tend to go for fragrance like this that are non-offensive to people's nose. You know, some of my Middle Eastern fragrances that has oud, but if they're sweet and they're not, the oud is not too strong, I might put those on. But this is great for work. It's safe for work. It's safe for everyday um, errands. These are easy reach fragrances and I wear them daily. As you can see, I have a collection. I don't wear the same thing twice every day. I'm not going to lie. In the morning, I might wear this. At night, I might wear something else. I love them and I wanted to share them with you guys. So totally check Zara um, website. And again, or if you go to Zara store, you might find them for uh, on sale for cheaper. Again, this is Rose Gromont by Zara. If you love the scent profile, definitely think about picking this up. Up next, this is Ebony Wood by Zara. So this is my third Zara fragrance. This is a sweet fragrance, guys. It does come out very sweet. It is soft to the skin. It is spicy. And it also has some woody component to it. I love this fragrance for fall and winter. I love it for work. I love it for a lot of my stuff, guys. I wear it to work. This is great for travel. One to two sprays. It does project. It does has um, moderate sillage and moderate uh, longevity, but it does have a projection to my nose is strong. And I believe it's the pink pepper that is in here. It has some spicy, some, okay, there's a kick to it. Yep, the pink pepper kicked is ebony and it's also clove. That's what I was speaking of, the spiciness is clove. This is a beautiful scent, guys. It's great for fall and winter. As you can see, I've made, a, made some dent here and I'm looking forward to wearing it. Um, I, I love this fragrance, guys. I love it so I would say go to Zara if you're ever there and they have it do a sniff test I would not recommend you blind buy this only because if pink pepper I find can be polarizing some people like it some people don't when I first bought this fragrance I was not a fan of it I hated it then I ordered Leda Jardin by Zara and I hated that one even more and I fell in love with this but I had been training my nose to smell other things and pick up other um, ingredients and flavors so I end up falling in love with this I love this so much that I bought Harold by Parfums de Mali that has a tobacco note to it so it kind of reminds me to this even though I think Harold has a different scent profile and DNA but this is just beautiful guys I know I said that about all the fragrances but it has a sweet component that is not in on Fragrantica or it's listed anywhere but it's, it's, a, it's a hint of sweetness here 
So if you like that, I would recommend it. It's not peppery, it's not clovey or ambery, uh, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, well blended spicy fragrance. If you like spicy fragrance, I would recommend you check this one out. This was also $25.90, but you might get it from um, Zara for a cheaper price. So again, this is Zara Ebony Wood. It's I would say it's unisex, not just for girls, it's unisex. I wear it, my partner wears it as well. Um, we both enjoy the scent profile. So here I have Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar. I picked this up from Target. It was always sold out, so finally my Target had it for $19.99. It's a great bourbon vanilla scent. It smells vanilla, it has woody notes to it, it's sweet, it has some amber. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. My only downside with these mixed bar fragrances is that they don't last long on my skin. I'll get maybe three to five hours, if anything, and then I have to touch up again. But this one is new to my collection. I've worn it twice. I know the bottle looks full, but I, I just got it like two weeks ago, and I rotate. I don't wear the same fragrance every day, so I've worn it twice in the last two weeks, and I'm looking forward to wearing it all winter long. This is a great fall and winter fragrance. It's great for everyday wear, safe for Douglas office, safe for airport, safe for just running errands. Anything that you wanna do and you don't wanna think too much, I would just grab all the fragrances that I'm talking about today. These are my easy reach, affordable fragrances that I don't think too much about, just grabbing, putting it on, and out the door I go. It's beautiful, so um, let's look at the notes real quick. So the top notes you have black pepper and bergamot. The middle notes are jasmine, vanilla orchid, and apple blossom. The base notes are Madagascar vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. I think bergamot really gives this the unique flair to it because a lot of people talk about like the bourbon, like it's like burnt sugar or it has this and it has that. But to me, I definitely think that the bergamot and the pink pepper, like the opening of the fragrance, it's kind of, it's what that helps give it that oomph that the fragrance has it's a unique vanilla fragrance for sure it's amazing it does smell expensive guys if you layer it with vanilla cashmere from target the body lotion by eos you're going to love it which i do have in my collection so which is why i picked this up and i cannot wait to finally layer all three together and enjoy it it's a beautiful scent for twenty dollars it does smell expensive it's small enough where you can put in your bag and touch up if you need to um, I would recommend it, guys. Look into it. Go to Target. Spray it on yourself. Test it out. See how you like it. That's what I did because every time I went to my Target, it was sold out, but they had the tester. So I would just douse my body with it, and I would go because I'm a heavy sprayer. So I would just spray, and I would go home, and I would go about my day, and I'd be thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, my God. One day, I wanted it so bad that I drove to, like, three different Targets in my area, and they still didn't have it. I had to go to another state, and they didn't have it. But it's a beautiful scent. I really love it, and I'm happy to have it in my collection as well. It's great for everyday wear, guys. So think about it for $20. It's affordable. You can add it to your collection and not think twice about wearing it every day. Here, I have another mixed bar fragrance. This is Whip Almond from Target for $20 or $19.99. It's a great everyday wear. It has almond notes to it. It's nutty, it's woody, and it's also platonic. When I first got it, guys, I was in love with this fragrance. And I know it may not look like I've worried, but I actually have worried a lot. I don't know if you can see. I have worried a couple of times, but my nose is becoming animalic to it, I think. Or I don't want to say immune to it because there's a milky note in here. I'm not a milk. I don't like coconut or milk in my fragrances. So I'm starting to like not like this as much, which is very sad. But I will layer it to wear it. I do like almond fragrances, so... More amber and vanilla than almond, but this is not bad at all. So again, if you like the scent profile, you might love this. I would recommend you go to Target. Again, if they don't have it in stock, they will definitely have the testers. So go play around, spray it on your body, test it out, see if you like it. That's what I did. But I think every time I went, I mixed it with vanilla bourbon. I sprayed all the things. So I fell in love with it, but maybe it wasn't that I fell in love with the actual fragrance. I just bought it because it smelled good because I had other things on. I don't know. But I like the fragrance. Is it one that I'm jumping to reach for all the time? No, but I will layer it with other things. So the notes on here, it's four notes pretty much. So you have almond, milk, sandalwood, and iris flower. So if you like any of those notes, I would say definitely check this out. But if I had to recommend anything from this line, I would definitely say get um, vanilla bourbon. There's some, something called hibiscus um, 
something. It smelled very fruity, very sparkly, and that's more of a springtime scent. I love that one, but it was we're getting to fall, and I didn't want to buy something I wouldn't be wearing. And then there's something called Cloud or Blackberry something. I also love that one. But this, like I said, I loved it at the time. But now the murky, the milk in here, it's not doing well with my nose. So I will be layering it with other things um, to enjoy it more. So now for my Amazon buy, here is Choco Mask by El Harab. This is a very chocolatey fragrance. If you're somebody that loves to smell like food, like I mean food, 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 you would love this. This I plan to wear a lot. I wore it, as you can see, there's a dent right there. I got this like three weeks ago and I have videos of it on my TikTok when I unbox it. So if you're not following me on TikTok, please go follow me on TikTok. My handle is Judelox. We're growing there. We have fun, fun um, time on TikTok. So go check me out there. But as you can see, I've already used this a lot. I plan to be, this is going to be my December scent. I feel like December when we were baking, Thanksgiving time, maybe November, December, I'm going to be wearing this a lot. But this is a very, very sultry, chocolatey, snack, like sneaky link type of a scent in my opinion. I always say that, but it has vanilla. It's warm, spicy, definitely chocolate. It's also sweet, but not super sweet. Um, it's yeah, not super sweet, like pink sugar sweet, but it's sweet. Like the sweetness is there. It's pronounced. Um, this cacao. This amber. Mm. Yeah, those are the one notes I picked up. This is a beautiful everyday scent again. Great for fall. Um, everyday wear. If you like to just if you're like hungry, I think you'll feel like, oh, I want something food foody. This would be a great scent to put on. I really like this scent profile. I got this on Amazon. This was under $16. The notes are vanilla, milky chocolate, white musk, cinnamon, spicy notes sandalwood amber myrrh and rose it's a really nice scent profile longevity not great i'm not gonna lie to you guys some people said it has long longevity on my skin on my skin two to three hours i don't smell it anymore opening is great the edge is moderate longevity two to three hours like i said and then projection a couple of minutes literally a couple of minutes and then it fades but again i'm a heavy sprayer so this is probably from wearing it twice i think two or three times so I do spray a lot and I guess I douse my whole body because I want it to last longer. Again, this is Choco Mask by El Harab. If you're looking for it, check Amazon. It does fluctuate in prices. Right. This is Supreme Pink by Afnan. This is one of my recent purchases. I got this so I can wear it for work. It's a great scent, great for everyday reach. I got this from Amazon for $24. I would highly recommend it if, you ha if you're somebody who isn't too into like fruity sweet type of a fragrance i always use the word tart to describe it but it's very rosy it's a rosy scent um, profile it probably has some sweetness to it but it's sweetness no it's there's no sweetness to it i don't pick up any sweetness to my nose it's a very floral rosy type of a fragrance and it's really feminine it's great for work if you're a girl that likes non-sweet but rosy floral fragrances this would be something to check out for sure Oh, it's so feminine. I mean, the packaging itself says that it's great for everyday wear. This would be great for spring and summertime. Oh, it's just delicious, guys. It just smells so good to my nose. Um, top notes, you have pink pepper and violet. Middle notes are rose, peony, lily of the valley. And then the base note is musk and amber. But the amber is not prominent in here. I pick up mainly the middle notes, I swear, like the rose, the violet, like all the flora notes is what I pick up on this. It's a beautiful fragrance for work, non-offensive, great for every day, will not break the bank for $24. You should totally think about um, checking this out. I didn't see anyone talking about it. When I bought this, I was just looking for stuff on Amazon. I, look, I read some of the reviews. Some people hated it. Some people liked it. I was like, it's $24. If I don't like it, I'll just layer with something else and then I'll call it a day. There's ways you can make things work, guys, you know? So I happen to like it. And on um, longevity, I'm still testing it out, so I don't want to lie to you guys. But I would say for right now, everything is moderate. So it has moderate sillage, moderate longevity, and moderate um, projection as well. Um, it's not beast mode for sure. It's, it's soft and it does vanish into your skin, but it's a great scent. So I would recommend it if you have $24 to spare. I would say pick it up if you don't like sweetie. Like if you really are into floral fragrances, this would be a great one to add to your collection. Again, this is Supremacy Pink by Afnan. Um, this is a stunning fragrance, guys. It's a Middle Eastern fragrance. I got it for under $24. It was like 23 and change. 
it's just it has great projection longevity great sillage it's just it's, it has a middle eastern vibe to it if you're looking for a middle eastern vibe this is a fragrance i would recommend for the price i don't think it has any oud so if you're somebody who doesn't like oud then this would be a great fragrance for you to check out okay it's it's amazing guys let me just show you when i first bought it i wore it every day every day and that is the dent i have so far for it and it's a great fall and winter scent definitely beautiful it's sweet it's fruity it has some amber notes to it it's also powdery it's woody mm. it's there's some fresh notes to it as well let's look up the notes so the top notes you see fruits and apple middle notes you have spicy nutmeg and clove that's what gives you that oody yeah i kept saying this oud but it's the spices in here it's just beautiful the dry down is amber musk and woozy notes it's an, an amazing fragrance guys i wore this to work i don't think people liked it because nobody gave me a compliment i probably <laughs> didn't like it but i love this scent it's great for men and women i believe it's a unisex um it's listed as a unisex yep it's it listed as unisex for men and women but i love it on me because it is sweet um, so anytime something is too sweet, I tend to like it a lot more on my skin, but it's sweet, so it's beautiful. I can see it as a safe unisex fragrance, safe blind buy. So ladies, for the price, check it out, get it for your men. It has, again, it smells expensive. For $24, it smells expensive. So I would totally recommend that you check it out and you pick it up. Last but not least, this is Casablanca by Swiss Arabia. This is like my go-to. This will always be in my life first, okay? If my house were to burn down, I can only run away with three fragrances. This is one of the ones that I'm picking. Um, this was under maybe $60, so it was 30 something. I can't remember, or I might have paid $70 for this fragrance. I cannot remember. I know when I was trying to buy it, Amazon keeps moving the price up and down. The other day, a couple of weeks ago, I saw it um, for $37. Then I checked um, a couple of days later, it went back up to 70 Every time the price goes down, I buy it. So it's a beautiful scent, guys. I am so happy to have in my collection. I have two backups, okay? That's how much I love this fragrance that I keep buying it. But I'm waiting for the price to drop. So if it drops to 30 something, I will definitely maybe get more backups for this. Um, this is a sweet, mm, it's a sweet fragrance. This is a fruity caramel, sweet amber powdery balsamic fragrance there's some green notes to it but i i don't really pick it up as much i just i love the opening and i love the middle notes i love the dry that the, the composition of this fragrance is very unique which is why i love it so much i love it more than some of my niche fragrances i have in my collection i talk about this all the time i recommend it to people this and pink sugar are the two that i recommend the most my second pink sugar is my most Complimented fragrance. This is my second most complimented fragrance. Third is YSL Lieb Intense. The other ones I get compliments, but not as much as when I wear this. So this is great for everyday wear. I will probably wear this for everyday and nighttime if I'm going like for you know brunch with my friends at five o'clock after work, like after um office hours. You know when you're going out for lunch with your, your coworkers, anything you do like after work, I would wear this. But I did wear this to work and I did get compliments. It has strong projection, great sillage. It's base mode. It doesn't leave your skin. I wore it one day. I sat in the office. The whole office smelled amazing. People were following me. I had this one coworker. He's a man. He keeps coming close to me, wouldn't leave. And I'm like, I kept thinking, like, what's wrong with this guy? And finally, I said something to him. He was like, you smell good. And I didn't know how to tell you because I didn't want to get me too. But I just wanted to be around you. You smell so good. And I laughed so hard. Um, I thought it was the cutest thing that he wanted to compliment me, but didn't know how to. So he was coming close to see if I would notice it and like say something to him. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. The top notes are apple and grapes. The middle notes you have white wood, patchouli, and iris. And then the base notes you have caramel, amber, suede, musk, and uh, peru balsam. It's a beautiful scent. It's the reason why I have two backup bottles of this. I'm not kidding, I'm going to show you guys. So here are my backups guys. Here's one and here's two, okay? When I say I'm obsessed with Casablanca, I am not joking guys, here are the two backups. Again, I love this fragrance, I highly recommend it. Definitely stock Amazon, like literally be on there, 
put in your cart, check it to see if the price drop. Amazon will notify you if the price drop and you can definitely cash out right away because it will go, it goes up and down. I think when people start buying it a lot, the sellers will jack up the price and then when it's not being sold a lot, they will drop the price down. I love this fragrance. It's one of my lifers. As I said, I have two backups. Highly recommended. Out of all these fragrances here, I would totally recommend this first. I would recommend this second. I would recommend this third. And then the rest of them will just fall in the line. So again, this is Casablanca by Swiss Arabia. So that's it for this video, guys. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps you to push my content to other people that might find it interesting. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.